Hi, once again, this is Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. In this video, I want to talk about, uh, mainly for plaster pools, what is going on when your plaster starts ripping away from the pool surface and, and you're left with these little or sometimes big chunks uh, on the bottom of the pool. What's going on? Well, what's going on is this. Water is hungry for calcium and it's going to draw from anywhere it can get it. Now, the plaster has pla um, calcium carbonate in it. Got almost got that messed up, has calcium carbonate. And the water goes, oh, here's some calcium, calcium carbonate, and I'm just gonna start ripping it away. And, and the plaster gets, gets loosened up by the water and it starts to get ripped away. Now, there's actually a couple things you can do. One is be sure that you keep your pH in line between seven, four, and seven, eight. And number two, if you have a plaster pool, and you live in a place that has softer water um, that you need to add calcium chloride to. I know that when I was a pool operator for the YMCA, the water was around three parts per million, and um, it was a it, it was a plaster pool, and I had to add calcium chloride to it to raise the hardness. And the measurement that I would raise it to is 150 to 250 parts per million. That's really the optimal range. You don't want to go any higher than that. Um, I know you probably have seen on some other websites or information on the internet that the proper range is you know from anywhere from 300 to 500 parts per million. In my opinion, that's too high, especially when you have a chlorine generator, and you, or or if you have um, a a heater, they can calcify very, very quickly. So the optimal range is around 150 to 250 parts per million for your calcium. Also keep your, your pH between 7.4 and 7.8 um, and you should be fine. So that's just, a, that's just to prevent that. Uh, this isn't a tutorial on how to take care of that. That's, um, that's fixing plaster and again that's for another video. I just wanted to give you that information uh, about the importance of keeping your calcium between 150 to 250 if you have a plaster pool. Um, so go ahead and check the description box below. It has a link to my website, cleanpoolandspa.com. Lots of great information over there. And so I'm Robert with this channel, Clean Pool and Spa. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, and be safe and happy swimming. Bye.